What is up, Earth's mightiest subscribers? It's Ernie, Blurred Without Fear. Welcome back to the channel. All right, today's video, we are going to be talking about the Marvel Comics character, M, or as she is more recently known, Penance. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this character in order to hold an intelligent conversation about her and more right now. But first, if you want to see more awesome videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. I post multiple videos throughout the week, plus live stream the Blurred Cave every every Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. So hit that bell button. That way you don't miss anything. Also, if you enjoyed the video, Hulk smash that like button. With that out of the way, let's ponder the question. Who is Penance? You can't see me, you Stevie. Wondering how I reach more evolutions than Evie and make it look easy. M, or rather Penance as she is now known, human name, Monet St. Croix, first appeared in Generation X number one in 1994 and was created by Scott Lobdell and Chris Bocciolo. Monet is the daughter of a rich bureaucrat and ambassador of Monaco, Cartier St. Croix, and an Algerian royal named Jamila St. Croix. She would eventually grow to become the favorite child of her father and after the death of her mother at the hands of her brother Marius, otherwise known as as M-Plate, Monet would move from Bosnia to the States and enroll in Xavier's school for gifted youngsters under the tutelage of Emma Frost and Banshee. Monet's mutant X-Gene has gifted her with nearly perfect genetics. She's even considered to be nearly perfect in every way, and at one point in time was even considered to be genetic perfection by her peers, though this was oftentimes meant to be an insult against her arrogant personality. As one would imagine her having such genetics, she possesses superhuman physical characteristics that are impossible to achieve under an average or even peak human physiology. Her strength, speed, agility, reflexes, stamina, durability, intuition, as well as other mental capabilities are beyond peak human physical limits. Her strength allows her to match some of the most powerfully strong superhumans and mutants, even when in an unconscious state, neither Jubilee, skin, or sink could move her, with skin surmising that her power makes her practically invulnerable. It's also safe to say that sink was even borrowing some of her power and even with their combined strength couldn't move her. She's also been known to lift cars, large concrete slabs, and roofs with little effort. And she's been known to overpower other superhumanly strong individuals with ease. Interesting sidebar, Monet is considered to be stronger than the mutant strong guy, who is able to lift anywhere from 50 to 100 tons. Some fans have even speculated that Monet's strength and durability is a byproduct of her psionic abilities using them to empower her strength and durability with telekinesis, but this has never been confirmed and is likely incredibly untrue. Her speed and reflexes are so sharp that she can even catch high caliber bullets with little to no effort as well, even being able to throw a caught bullet back with the same or similar force as when it was shot. Monet's body is incredibly durable as well. She's able to withstand impacts from superpowered physical attacks and even projectile attacks with zero sign of injury, even if she's knocked through a brick wall, and if that weren't enough, she possesses an accelerated healing factor, allowing her to recover from injuries with great speed that would be fatal to an average human. M also has superhuman senses, namely sight and hearing, but her other three senses are likely superhuman as well. Her sight is superhuman enough that she can read in total darkness, seemingly possessing night vision, and her hearing is strong enough to overhear conversations she's nowhere near. Her mental capabilities are so advanced that she can absorb information and process it faster than any average human, as well as being able to make informed decisions based on information gathered. This allows her to learn and analyze information with lightning fast speed. Speaking of speed, she can even perceive the movements of those with superhuman speed. She also possesses an eidetic memory, allowing her to remember and recall any information or memory she's ever had with perfect recall, even if it's something she only ever saw or experienced one time. For all intents and purposes, Monet is considered to have genius level intellect. Monet is also able to fly at supersonic speed, or more simply put, Mach 3, so essentially the speed of sound. This translates to her being able to fly at a minimum of 343.2 miles per second. She's also able to wield telepathic and telekinetic abilities, allowing her to read the minds of others, as well as inject her thoughts into the minds of others. She's even able to slip some hypnotic suggestion in there as well, and though she doesn't use this ability to often 
often, she can also make people under her telepathic control see whatever she wants them to see. Her telekinetic abilities are not her strongest use of her telepathic powers, but she can affect matter and move it telekinetically, and even unleash telekinetic concussive blast to a limited degree. If all that weren't enough, Monet is able to fuse with her sisters Claudette and Nicole St. Croix, also mutants, and affect what is called a gestalt form, where all three entities come together as one and create a more powerful whole, and depending on the formation of their gestalt, their appearance and powers can vary. Her sisters have been capable of using this ability to appear to be Monet herself when she was absent. Another instance of this is her penance form. For lack of a better way to put it, this is essentially a battle form, with far denser skin that can withstand extreme punishment. This form is highly resistant to telepathic probing and attacks, and is outfitted with razor-sharp claws that can cut through almost anything, and even her very skin in this form is considered to be razor-sharp to the touch. Originally, this form was something that was inflicted on her by her brother, Implate. Oddly enough, co-creator Scott Lobdell never intended for there ever to be a real, actual Monet beyond the fake Monet we were introduced to in Generation X, number one in 1994. This very same fake Monet was an amalgamation of her sisters Claudette and Nicole. The original plan was for Penance to be a survivor of the Yugoslavian War who was born deaf, explaining why she could not speak. And Monet, Claudette, and Nicole's villainous brother Implate was never originally intended to be related to either of them. Even further, when it was revealed that Monet was, in fact, her two younger sisters masquerading as her to spare her father the grief of losing his favorite child, this idea was not Scott Lobdell's or Chris Bocciolo's, but came down from Marvel Editorial. Eventually, Claudette and Nicole would relinquish their form of Monet and free M from the penance form, which Claudette and Nicole would take on going forward. This was interesting due to Monet, despite never actually having met any of the Generation X team before, she still maintained the same level of condescending and arrogant reactions to them that her sisters Claudette and Nicole affected when they were pretending to be Monet. Back to the penance form, in more recent years, especially as of House of X, Monet has proven capable of wielding this form, transforming into it at will. Though she still seems to lack full self-control while in this form, becoming more aggressive and bloodthirsty while in it. Originally, she lacked the ability to use her telepathic powers while in her penance form, and even the ability to speak. But as of late, she's grown capable of speaking with the same or similar proper diction as Monet normally does. Speaking of Monet's speech, she's also a bilingual, able to speak both English and French fluidly. And considering her having citizenship in not just the states, but also France, Algeria, and what used to be Yugoslavia, as well as her superhuman learning capacity, it's highly likely she speaks other languages fluidly as well. Speaking of her heritage, Monet is also Muslim, as was her mother. Monet is also an extremely talented hand-to-hand -hand combat fighter, and she possesses a business acumen that allowed her to co-run X-Corp alongside Warren Worthington III, aka Angel. She was able to make X-Corp a very successful company that was able to output much of Krakoa's assets to the human world, despite both human and mutant interference. M has been a member of multiple X-Teams throughout her superhero career, starting out with Generation X, then moving on to X-Corp and its European branch, then moving on to both X-Men and Magneto's X-Men, as well as X-Factor Investigations and Weapon X-Force. She's also been tied to the organization, the Hellfire Club, where she served as its White Queen. Monet once had a very intense battle with mental health due to being fed on by her brother Implate for years during the time her sisters were pretending to be her on Generation X. For clarification, Implate must feast on the bone marrow of other living beings to survive, and he fed on Monet for quite some time, leaving psychological scars that have haunted her from the time of Generation X in 1994 all the way up until X Factor Volume 3, number 13, in 2007 at the absolute latest. It's there where she admitted to Doc Sampson during a psychiatric evaluation that she was near suicidal. Monet would have vivid nightmares about being fed on by Implate and lived in constant fear of transforming into penance again. She also admitted that her arrogance and overconfidence was always a facade to hide what she perceived as a weakness within herself. Whether or not she has overcome this has yet to be addressed in any meaningful fashion, but it's safe to say that should Monet win this year's X-Vote, maybe we'll get more clarification. That said, it's safe to say she's
she's likely already overcome this due to her being able to transform into penance at will and seems almost more at peace doing so. Speaking of mental health and mental conditions, sometimes Monet would slip into catatonic states. This was due to this not being the true Monet, but rather her sisters Claudette and Nicole assuming her identity. Claudette is autistic, and whenever these catatonic moments would occur, it was due to her autism. M is incredibly wealthy, having come from money. She was a standout among all other members of Generation X when she first arrived at Xavier's school for gifted youngsters because, as Jubilee pointed out, when she saw the Mack truck pull up to the Institute with all of Monet's personal effects, she asked if she packed her whole life in there. She was also incredibly vain and narcissistic, seeing herself as better than everyone else, and rightfully so considering her powers and capabilities, she was very conceited because she could in fact back up a lot of her claims. But once again, this was a facade to hide what she perceived as weaknesses even when Claudette and Nicole were pretending to be her. Let's talk about a little bit of controversy regarding Monet. Monet's skin color has always been a hot topic of debate since she debuted, and not just her skin color, but even her ethnicity. Not only was her skin inconsistently colored when she debuted, but it seemingly got much lighter as time passed, to the point that many believed Marvel's creatives were whitewashing the character. This became even more egregious recently in 2021 when the announcement of Teeny Howard's X Corp was made. Colorist Sonny Go would come under fire for this especially due to Monet being colored very light complected to the point that her identity as an Algerian woman was absent and would make her appear to be almost the same skin tone as someone of Mexican heritage. This isn't anything new as characters like Storm have also been treated treated similarly, and this has been an issue not just in Marvel, but even with DC Comics as well for years. This wouldn't be the only controversy as of recent, because during Giant Size X-Men Storm of 2020, there were calls to recolor the issue, which Marvel did acquiesce to due to both Monet and Storm looking very light-skinned for both women having African heritage. A more tone-deaf response to this came years earlier in the fan letter section of X-Factor Volume 3 Number 4, pointing out how during the comic run, her skin was exceedingly light-complected, with a response letter stating that Monet's skin tone and what it should be set off a flurry of researching into her history, and boy, it was confusing and rife with contradictions. Bottom line, although Monet has very dark skin, we're not entirely sure she's African anything. Nevertheless, we're likely darkening her skin a bit. I find this response incredibly ignorant just because if the people who created this character don't know what she is, then what the hell. Even more so when you consider the fact that this comment came up during Monet's X Factor run, which if you're familiar with that run, this was during a time when Monet's skin was so light that she looked like a white woman more often than not. And for them to say, oh, we're going to darken her skin up just a bit, you know, claiming that her skin tone was already dark, in this issue, her skin was literally light, bright, and two shades from white. So it just makes this even more problematic to me, considering that they thought, oh, her skin was already dark, even though she was literally as dark as a lightly tanned white woman. That said, on average, Algerians do have a tendency towards being lighter complected than other people from Africa due to colonization, no different than what is seen with Egypt. So it somewhat makes sense that her skin was depicted more lightly. However, we've seen both her parents, who are depicted as having darker skin, and she herself, as well as her brother and sisters, have also been depicted with darker skin in the past, so it really makes even less sense. Both Penance and Monet have had various connections of varying degrees with the rest of their teammates, with the Penance form only truly connecting with fellow Generation X team member Chamber at first, even being talked down by him into trusting the rest of the team, at least enough to stay with them. She would even develop a friendship with Jubilee, which is interesting considering how antagonistic Monet and Jubilee were to one another. Monet herself would develop a romantic relationship with team leader Sink, though after his his death in Generation X number 70, she would eventually move on to having relationships or at the very least brief tryst with characters like Jamie Madrox, the multiple man, Darwin, strong guy, and eventually even a somewhat dysfunctional relationship with the character Sabretooth after his mind was inverted during the events of Axis. More recently, Monet was a part of the suicide mission displayed in House of X number 4 to destroy Nimrod before he was ever created. This resulted in her death and resurrection due to mutant 
in kind, having recently discovered the ability to resurrect their fallen on Krakoa. Considering that Monet is one of Jonathan Hickman's top five X-Men of all time, it's small wonder that she was included in the suicide mission and given such a valiant death and rebirth. As just mentioned, one of the hallmarks of the House of X era is resurrection, but House of X was not the first time she'd been killed and resurrected. She sustained massive brain injuries during a fight with the Greek god Hades, and she would eventually die due to these injuries. She would then be resurrected by her one-time boyfriend, Strong Guy, after he became the Lord of Hell in X-Factor number 256. Following this, she would eventually become possessed by her brother Implate and turned into Implate herself, a more aggressive version of Monet who suffered from Implate's same need to consume marrow to survive, and Sabretooth would be the one to help her maintain this secret from her allies, with Sabretooth even allowing her to feed on him to keep herself alive. Monet has had very few appearances in media outside of comics, with the most notable ones being her appearance in the failed Generation X TV movie slash pilot, where she's played by model and actress Amaryllis, and would oddly enough be one of the actress's final movie or television roles. As for who I would pick to play the character of M in a movie or TV show in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I'm going to pick actress Tuso Umbedu, who some of you may know from the miniseries The Underground Railroad, the South African soap opera Generations The Legacy, or the upcoming film The Woman King, where she'll be starring opposite Viola Davis, Lashana Lynch, and John Boyega. That said, let's get into some recommended reading. I'm going to recommend you check out Generation X number one, and then follow that all the way up to Generation X number 75, which that will give you her first appearance and the comic that she's appeared in the most other than X Factor. Speaking of X Factor, I'm also going to recommend you check out X Factor Volume 3, number 2, up until issue number 50, then pick back up with the renumbering of X Factor at issue number 200 to 261 to witness her time with the team, as well as her gaining some much needed growth as a character and eventually her death and rebirth. I'll also recommend you check out Uncanny X Men Volume 4, number 1 through 19, where you'll witness her being possessed by her brother M plate, as well as her budding relationship with Sabretooth. I'll also recommend you check out X-Men Volume 4, number 7, all the way to 26, to see her time as an official X-Man. I'll also recommend you check out Weapon X Volume 3, number 22 through 27, to get a little bit more of her time as M-Plate, as well as her relationship with Sabretooth. I will also recommend you check out House of X, number 3, 4, and 5, though honestly I would say just read House of X as a whole, but I'm more suggesting issues number 3, 4, and 5, to witness Monet on the suicide mission to Orcus Base. And even though this isn't a comic that I personally enjoyed, I will also recommend X Corp number one through five because it does feature Monet in a prominent role, so read it at your own peril. Anyways, Monet is a very awesome character who kind of went through some weird stop and starts with her character development over the time that she has been around since 1994, but she has grown exponentially since then. And whether or not you enjoyed some of the comics that she was in, Marvel has done a pretty good job of trying to get her out there more often, even if they botched the handling of her skin color. But anyways, let me know what you thought about the character Penance. Have you always known about her or are you today years old finding out about her? Keep it plus ultra and sound off in the comments.